Right, it's that time. We have to do it. Let's dive in to Solana versus Ethereum. This is a monstrous showdown. This is a battle for the crown of the crypto world. We're talking about two of the biggest names in blockchain technology in Solana and Ethereum. Each have their own strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to break those down for you. Can Solana flip Ethereum? That's what I was told could very well happen when I met with some of the brightest minds in the crypto space, some of the top influencers in the space in Paris at the Olympics the other day. So we got to break this down and have a look. Is this a possibility? Everybody that watches the channel knows I've talked about my opinion on Ethereum flipping Bitcoin. The flipping has begun with the Bitcoin and the Ethereum spot ETFs. And I'm going to delve into everything Solana, everything Ethereum, and I'm going to break down my thoughts and opinions on whether we could actually see this happen in the future. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, select in all the notifications so you never miss a video. This is a pre-recorded video because I'm back in Kuala Lumpur. I'm at another blockchain event with some of the leading people in the space. Uh, so you want to stay tuned because I might do some short video content at this event in Kuala Lumpur. You don't want to be missing this stuff. Pure Alpha and join us in the free Discord link in the description down below. Let's get down to the desktop and let's have a look at everything Solana, everything Ethereum, and let's compare and decide whether it's actually possible and could even happen. Let's go. So we're going to start here. Coin market cap, the total market cap of crypto globally is down 2.91% at the time of recording and stands at $2.39 trillion with Bitcoin at 66,854.56. And it's down 3.76% at the time of recording for the past 24 hours. Now we've got Solana in fourth, and that is new. Solana is down 4.66% at the time of recording in the last 24 hours, but stands at 183.45. So look, um, everybody knows my, my views and opinions. Be careful when trading this market, expecting a positive August. But with that said, Fed pivot, you know, 18 plus months ago, I was predicting that the Fed pivot would happen Q3 2024. And I think that it could still be on and could still happen September. If not, we're eking into Q4 and this will be the first prediction I've made that hasn't come in. And look, I'm okay with that. You, you know, you take what you you learn from when you get it wrong and you, you know, bask in the glory when you get it right. But look, we're here to talk about Solana. And look, you may have noticed it has actually flipped uh B and B. Now I think that's uh what we got. We got it here. Yeah, Solana flips Binance Coin B and B to become the fourth biggest cryptocurrency. Uh, I'm not going to get into to the details, but yeah, look, it almost reached $90 billion in value. Just, you know, quite phenomenal, really. But look, we want to have a look at, you know, Solana versus Ethereum. Let's start with, I guess, the, the speed and the scalability aspect of things. Solana has been making waves when it comes to its incredible speed. We've taken thousands of transactions per second compared to Ethereum's, well, let's just say a bit slower, uh, probably the best way to describe it. This what? high throughput is critical for scaling decentralized applications, also known as dApps, and handling the growing demand for blockchain technology. So look, we need to be quite clear, right, when we look at these two altcoins, when it comes to transactions per second, well, you know, Solana is leaps and bounds ahead of Ethereum. So 65,000 transactions per second, and this might, you know, have changed, this was three years old, right? And Ethereum 15 uh, transactions per second. So look, there's just no competition there. But look, you know, there are other layer one protocols out there that have just as fast, if not faster transactions than Solana. Um, so, you know, they can, a lot of these, um, you know, blockchain projects, they compare to, you know, I guess, inferior uh, projects in the space and not like the the best of the best, right? So, 
you know, it's it's great to to see this. Um, and again, you know, it's going to support with the scaling aspect aspect of things. But I'll come on to my thoughts and opinions, right, as we break this all down. We've got Ethereum uh, versus Solana development ecosystem. Uh, so Ethereum undoubtedly has the first mover advantage. Uh, and this isn't just an opinion. I think this is fact uh, with a massive developer community. But Solana is rapidly, uh, rapidly, if I can get my words out, gaining ground. There is focus on building a developer friendly ecosystem and it seems to be paying off with more and more projects choosing Solana for its speed and efficiency. And look, Solana in the past has had difficulty when it comes to you know being able to you know stay up yeah and, and be live like it, we've had a lot of downtime for solana but you know it is really interesting if we actually go to to this website right we have a look and com, you know make some comparisons um if we have a look uh it's actually here look can solana flip ethereum in the coming months um oh, sorry the closing months of uh 2023 Solana surpassed Ethereum in several key metrics. Let's have a look at a few uh, statistics from December 2023. Daily active uh, active users uh, 940k plus for Solana, 490k for Ethereum. Daily transactions 23 uh, sorry 25.3 uh, plus million for Solana, uh, 1.14 million for Ethereum. Monthly new addresses, 5.52 million for Solana, 1.69 million for Ethereum. Now, I, I haven't got all the, the data at the moment, but I wouldn't be surprised if that is actually, you know, increasing, right? We're seeing more and more adoption for, for Solana, particularly when it comes to uh, the, the, the meme coin narrative, right? And how easy it is for people to create and shill Solana um, meme coins, right? And you know, that has its own problems as well. I want to be quite clear that, you know, the problem that, you know, comes with that is lots of, you know, hacks, lots of rug pulls and, and so on. So, you know, it's not all good news. So I've just spent time with some of the brightest minds in the crypto space. And look, they might not agree with this, but ultimately Solana, you know, has a risk there when it comes to the amount of rug pulls and the amount of um, meme coins that are, you know, being, I guess, uh, produced and put out on the ecosystem. It's great at the moment whilst there's like meme coin mania, but it does really boil down to uh, projects that have more longevity to them, in my opinion. But you can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like what I take from talking for, you know, with, with people in the, the foundation at Solana is that actually there's a real big focus on developer you know, activity in the Solana ecosystem. So, you know, for me, this is, you know, something of real interest and something that we should be, you know, looking at and uh, taking on board, right? Um, for me, again, just really interesting. But like, we don't want to just stop there. And I think we should have a look at this again here and have a look, right? And uh, look at the the differences between Solana and Ethereum. So um, if we have a look, we've got... Um, I want to talk about programming languages, really. I don't want to talk about the existing DApp ecosystem. Everybody kind of knows about that for for Ethereum, you know, Uniswap, OpenSea, you know, the first mover advantage and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, again, just really, really interesting. So, um, you know, I guess Solana have got a lot of work to do, particularly, in my opinion, at least, with, um, you know, real world utility projects rather than just the standard, um, you know, meme coins, for example. I think that they do need to have a better ecosystem. Uh, and I think that, you know, you're starting to see pockets of that at the moment, right, where it's coming to, it's coming to life a little bit more. And uh, again, is something that we need to, to be keeping an eye on, right? Let's focus on the programming language, right? Solana uses Rust programming code. Solana is built on a programming language called Rust. Meanwhile, Ethereum is built on JavaScript language, a much more common language for developers. Because of this, it is easier for most developers to build dApps on Ethereum compared to Solana. And I think that that is something really, really important to, to highlight, right? It's about accessibility. It's about how easy it is to build on Solana. And if it's easy, 
you know, and uh, you've got the support mechanisms there, then you will, you know, I guess, encourage more people to build there as long as everything else on the ecosystem is good. And, you know, that brings me on to talk about, you know, Solana versus Ethereum when it comes to transaction fees. When you look at this aspect of things and, and talk about it, right, um, the dreaded gas fee talk, right, Ethereum users know all too well about the roller coaster of transaction costs. Solana, on the other hand, uh, offers significantly lower fees, making it a more attractive option for users and developers. And for me, this is what really does separate Solana from Ethereum. And, you know, when you've got developers building uh, and it's easy to attract users, you've got a recipe for a monstrous ecosystem, in my opinion. But look, we need to have a look at NFTs. Ethereum was the chain of NFTs with the likes of OpenSea and so on. But both platforms have seen explosive growth in the NFT market. While, while uh, Ethereum is still dominant in, you know, as a player in this uh, sector, Solana's lower fees and faster transactions has made it a popular choice for NFT creators um, and collectors alike, I guess. So for me, it, again, really, really interesting. What I would say is a lot of people are still using, you know, the Binance Smart Chain for NFTs as well. But I think you've got three, possibly four, if you take into consideration Cardano as well, you know, big future players in the NFT market. Uh, you know, you've even got VeChain, you know, uh, doing a play at NFTs as well, but in a slightly different, more grown up approach, in my opinion, not just like your, you know, your um, pictures, your JPEGs. Uh, no utility kind of plays, real world utility within NFT. Um, Cardano are doing something very similar as well. So yeah, look, for me, um, Solana you know, could be a winner if you're just comparing Solana to Ethereum. So again, really, really interesting. So Solana versus Ethereum, the future. So who will reign supreme? Will Solana truly dethrone ethereum as the king of crypto only time will tell both platforms are consistently evolving and the crypto landscape is always changing so for me again just really really uh, interesting to see how this actually plays out over time it might be that solana has the ability to flip ethereum but i think that you know the uh, mindset of the people involved in the development of Solana needs to probably change. I think there needs to be a real emphasis on real world asset tokenization. I think there needs to be some real deep discussions about privacy layers. If you want to build uh, a protocol that is future proof, you really do need a, pri a privacy compliant layer to your layer one blockchain. This will you know, enable businesses, banking, the health sector, all to flood into your ecosystem. And at the moment, I don't really get the feel that this is you know, something high up on the agenda for Solana or Ethereum. But look, maybe I'm wrong. You can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. But one thing is for certain, this bull run Solana looks like it's going to do really, really well, in my opinion. Whether it flips Ethereum, you know, really, I think that you're going to need a spot ETF. Do I think that's likely to happen? Yes, I think it's inevitable. I also think XRP will get one. I also think Chainlink will get one, but it's going to be, you know, probably in 2025. Look, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it was just uh, a unique, slightly different take on stuff that I normally do. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications so you never miss another video. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.